Hey, Tubbies! <laughs> it's Psychic Bob. It is so good to be with you. Well, here we are. It's Wiccan Wednesday. Ooh, that's right. It's Wiccan Wednesday. And I promised you guys I'd show you my new shirt. So check this out, huh? I just got this. This is an old shirt. It's vintage. It's probably like 10 years old. I bought it at a thrift store. But it's uh, got beautiful, if you can see it, Celtic pentagram woven here. Isn't this just beautiful? Big pentacle. I'm loving it. I've had so much fun with it. Uh, I washed it up and cleaned it. I mean, it was already clean, but, you know, I just, I have a habit. I buy, even if I buy something that's already cleaned, I've washed it anyway. So I had it washed yesterday. It's all crisp and clean looking good <laughs> so anyways i want to come and share it with you because i just love the pinnacle you know i got pinnacles all over my house you know and i wear them on jewelry so i got my pinnacle ring on i got my pinnacle shirt on i got pinnacles throughout my house and eventually i'll give you a house tour when i get around to it <laughs> but uh anyways i want to say thank you to all of you you guys have been so wonderful so many of you came out yesterday to messages from the spirit world i had a good time doing that and i want to say again thank you thank you thank you to all of you for your wonderful prayers for my healing i'm still on the men you know these colds sometimes take a week or two to get over but i'm doing much better and i want to say thank you <clears throat> my voice is still a little rough but i feel a hundred times better i really do and i thank all of you and i credit you for my healing also, I thought I'd show you here. I'm wearing today, in fact, let me show you this. This is something that's a magical piece of mine. You know, I love jewelry. This is an actual green calcite. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a giant green calcite set in silver. And it's quite heavy. As you can see, it's quite a large gemstone. But uh, I decided to wear this today because I had forgotten. Duh, you know, being a witch, you'd think I would uh, kind of use some magic. Uh, you know, sometimes we forget our own lessons, though. I'm guilty of it. But, you know, I was thinking about healing. So I've been, you know, drinking the teas and doing the honey and lemon and really resting. And I thought, you know, I need just a little extra body immune booster. And green calcite, I'd forgotten that I even had one, is a healing stone. Green calcite resonates with the heart chakra. Right here in the middle of the chest is the heart chakra. And this is where the body's healing originates from. The immune system, all of this originates. So if you want to strengthen your body, you might want to wear a green calcite over your heart chakra. I've been doing that, and I can already feel the power increasing. So just something you guys might want to try, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here, and you'll have to forgive Psyche Bob. I haven't had a lot of time to prepare an elaborate video as I've been healing. So in the coming weeks, we're going to have a lot more exciting stuff here at Spirit Channel, so I hope you'll stay with us. But today I wanted just to touch in on a, a subject that I just think is so wonderful. Um, you know, I've been reading this book. The Mysteries of Isis, and it's about the goddess Isis, not the terrorist group, okay? Um, and it's wonderful because the goddess Isis uh, in the ancient world was believed to be the goddess, she was called the goddess of 10,000 names. And that number 10,000 wasn't just a literal number, it was more symbolic, it meant unlimited Name. So the goddess Isis was the goddess of all. She was every goddess that existed, every god. And it's believed that all the ancient gods merged into Isis. So Isis was, you know, Diana. Isis was Hecate. Isis was Mary. And still is, by the way. So, um, at least in the modern pagan traditions. I'm a member of the Fellowship of Isis. You may have heard me talk about this. This is a, a pagan group out of Ireland. Uh, it used to be run by the late Lady Olivia Robertson. And she formed the Fellowship of Isis because she said that within the fellowship, all goddesses are honored because all goddesses are emanations of Isis. And I really liked that. I thought that was kind of cool. And... Um, so anyways, I was reading in this book, they have some beautiful passages here. Um, there's a little bit I want to read to you from a vision. Um, this was from 
um, Apuleius. Uh, Apuleius' Adoration of Isis. It was written years and years ago. It's an ancient Greek writing, I believe. Uh, and it was from um, also from the novel Metamorphosis. But in this, um, Apuleius has a vision of the goddess where she appears to him. Now, it's a long, long thing. I'm not going to read. It's almost like half a chapter for the whole vision to unfold. But I recommend that if you get this book, you definitely read this section. Uh, but I'm just going to read a small bit of it here uh, because I think it's so, so interesting. So he's on a beach basically at night and he sees them. He's uh, sleeping on a beach, just chilling out under the moon and the full moon rises and he was awakened by the moonlight. And that's a magical experience. I've actually been on a beach and had a similar experience. Um, and as he stares at the moon, the goddess Isis appears over the ocean and speaks to him. So I want to read to you some of her words here that he received in his vision of the goddess. Uh, so Isis says, <clears throat> Lo, I am with you, Lucius, moved by your prayers. I, who am the mother of the universe, the mistress of all elements, the first offspring of time, the highest of deities, the queen of the dead, foremost of heavenly beings, the single form that fuses all gods and goddesses. I, who order by my will the starry heights of heaven, the health-giving breezes of the sea, and the awful silences of those in the underworld. My single Godhead is adored by the whole world in varied forms, in differing rites, with many diverse names. I really love this passage because I think it really bespeaks of the universal nature of the pagan traditions. You know, our modern religious wars are heavily based in monotheism. It's like, I have the right God and there's no other God and I will destroy anybody who dares to think otherwise. You see, the ancient pagans realized that all gods are various forms of the same God. All goddesses are the same goddess, ultimately. When you can approach the world through this you know, open-minded, open-hearted view, it allows you to have peace with your neighbor. You know, as Isis was called the goddess of 10,000 names, I thought I'd read to you some of the names. This book lists, has another section about the goddess uh, of 10,000 names. Now, it doesn't have all 10,000 names, but it just has a few to get you thinking. So if we were to think about the great goddess Isis, here are some of her names. Um, they have them in alphabetical order. I'm just going to jump through the list a little bit. One of her names is All Bounteous. She was also called Aminti, the Hidden One. Anket, Producer and Giver of Life. Uh, Aphrodite. Uh, just so you know, in ancient Greco-Roman times, Isis was many times fused with the local deities as well. So you could have Isis Aphrodite or Isis Diana. They were the same person. And sometimes they were even called by their joint names. So she was called Aphrodite. Aset. Now that's her Egyptian name. Um, she was called Child of Newt. Uh, Newt was the star goddess. Cornucopia of all our goods, creatrix of the Nile flood, crown of Ra Heru, daughter of Geb, daughter of Ra. Uh, Dea Ex Machina, the goddess in the machine, the divine, diadem of life, dispeller of attack, divine mother, divine one, Earth, embracer of the land. Epicus, the all hearing. Euploia, giver of good sailing. Eye of Ra, female Horus, 
female principle in nature. Friendship. Giver of life. Goddess of all goddesses. Godmother. Great goddess. Great goddess of the underworld. Great lady. Great sorceress who heals. Great virgin. Now that's interesting. You know, the Virgin Mary, as many of you know, and I've said in other videos, took many of the titles of Isis. But Mary, or Isis was originally called the Great Virgin. So, you know, my theory that Isis is Mary and Mary is Isis, I feel this just gives another, another clink to that truth. Okay. Um, Hecate, Isis as Great Magician. Hera, Isis as identical to Hera. Hestia, Isis as identical to Hestia. The Hidden One, Immortal One. Isis Aphrodite, Isis Astarte, Isis Fortuna, Isis Inanna, and Isis Nike. Nike is the goddess of uh, victory. It says here, Isis combined with goddess, victory goddess. Um, jewel of the wind, joy. Kut, which means the light giver. Lady Isis. Lady of Bees. Now that's an interesting title because you know I have to do a whole nother video but there's a real issue about bees disappearing in the world. Maybe we should do an invocation to her as Lady of the Bees to help save the bee population. We'll come back to that. Lady of Bread. I like that. I guess that means literal physical like bread that you eat but I guess it could in modern parlance also mean Lady of Money. <laughs> Lady of the Flame, Lady of Green Crops, Lady of Life, Lady of Light, Lady of the Mouths of Seas and Rivers, Lady of the Sea. Now remember our video last week, Star of the Sea. See, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Lotus Bearing. Many formed, the many named, mediatrix between the celestial and the terrestrial. Mary, Isis as sea goddess. The moon, see Isis is a moon goddess. Some people say Isis was not a moon goddess. The ancient Egyptians worshiped her as the sun goddess. No, she was also goddess of the moon. I beg to differ. May not have been as emphasized in Egypt, it more emphasized in the Greco-Roman times, but she is also the moon mother. Uh, most mighty one. Um, let's see. Mother of God. Now that's a title the Virgin Mary had. Isis had it before her, mother of God. Mother of the gods also. Name of the sun. Well, this goes on and on and on. Uh, queen of heaven, queen of peace, queen of the earth. I love this. Aren't those wonderful? She's also called Salvatrix of Sailors. Salvatrix means savior. Savior of mankind. Where have we heard savior of mankind before? Huh. Selene, which is the moon. That's the Greek for the moon goddess. She's also Selene. She of green wings and crescent moon. Isn't that beautiful? Um, she's also called the throne, the throne woman. Uh, here's one that's interesting. Uajet, Isis as the cobra goddess. See, now ancient snakes were affiliated with the goddess. Here's another, another proof of that. Uh, Usert, Isis as earth goddess giver of life. Uh, venerandum, that's a neat one. Venerandum means she who must be adored. Wife of the Lord, Osiris. Anyways, it goes on and on. This is just a few, but you know, I, I think it's wonderful. And so I really encourage you to get this book, you know, because... 
I think it will give you a great appreciation of this wonderful goddess. And even if you work with a different set of gods or goddesses, I'm not saying you have to adopt the Egyptian pantheon. Um, the great goddess Isis can be found actually across all faiths and religions. So she truly is the goddess of 10,000 names. Um, so anyways, I just want to come here, share those thoughts with you today. You know, speaking of the goddess Isis, it's going to be a few weeks yet because I'm still working on it. But we're going to have a new amazing altar that I'm going to show you. And uh, it's something unlike anything you've seen here at Spirit Channel before. But we're going to have a lot of fun with that. But I'm so glad you're here. And I want to say again thank you to all of you just for your support, for being here part of my channel, for watching my videos, for, for loving me, for thumbs up in me, for all your wonderful letters. You know, yesterday we had messages from the spirit world. That was a lot of fun. And I, I certainly enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. And, uh, you know, I just, um, I want to say thank you. Thank you for everything. You guys are the best. Well, listen, I'm going to keep it short. Psyche Bob's got some errands to run today. But I love you guys. I'm sending you my blessings. So keep it here at Spirit Channel. I'm going to go out and about in my new styling shirt and be happening on the town. All right, guys. Be back here tomorrow on Thursday. We got Zodiac Thursday. And we're going to talk about what's coming in the stars. Some prophecies for the coming days. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for being here. I love you. Blessed be.